Hey friends, it's Jamie from Home Ec Express. And in this video, we're getting ready for National Mushroom Day, which is April 16th. And so mushrooms are marvelous. A lot of people are a little unsure about mushrooms because of course we know they're very odd looking, somewhat artistic, and they have very different flavor profiles, but they are um, actually members of the fungus family. And so I want to share with you a few little bits about mushrooms and why they're so good for us before we get into actually cooking a recipe with mushrooms today. So mushrooms are incredibly low in calories, but very high in nutrition. Um, due to ultraviolet light that mushrooms are exposed to during their growth, they are a very good source of vitamin D. Vitamin D is something that a lot of people are lacking in their blood um, and also in their diet. And so we have found many links with vitamin D deficiency and autoimmune disease. So it's very important to incorporate it in different ways into your diet and mushrooms are a great source. Cremini mushrooms are also an excellent source of the essential trace element of zinc. Zinc is very important for our immune system. Mushrooms are rich in potassium, and this nutrient has been found to be excellent at reducing the negative impact of sodium, and potassium lessens the tension in the blood vessels, which helps us to lower our blood pressure. It also helps with muscles and nerves, so that's good to keep in mind. Um, mushrooms can aid in weight loss. Um, if a person lowers their beef consumption, not to knock the beef industry, because we love it, um, but if you do lower your beef consumption by about 20% and substitute that with mushrooms, uh, combined with increased exercise and lifestyle changes and improvements, studies have shown an improvement with the overall BMI and the belly circumference, as well as an improvement of the metabolic uh, disorders. And another key part of mushrooms and why they're great to have in our diet is that mushrooms have an anti-inflammatory effect and has been shown to greatly improve the efficiency of the immune system. Studies have shown that mushrooms help stimulate the microphages in the immune system, enhancing the ability to defeat foreign, foreign invaders in your body and makes you less susceptible to serious illness. And that's also something to think about with chronic illness is inflammation is the cause of chronic illness and we need to do whatever we can to combat inflammation. And so incorporating mushrooms, turmeric, ginger, other things into our diet are really awesome ways to um, help keep that inflammation down in our bodies. So what I have here are just a few examples of some of the many, many, many types of mushrooms that are available. Some of them are very seasonal. Some of them are grown in greenhouses essentially year round so we can have them. The one that we're most familiar with, of course, is the white, that they roll away, white button mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's live camera time, who knows? <laughs> they can do that. Um, and I haven't even washed them yet, okay? That's a whole other thing about mushrooms. Don't wash them till it's time to actually use them in your recipe. If you wash them and they're not very dry, they get all soft and mushy and gross, so we don't want that. Um, this is your traditional white butt button mushroom here that we'll be using later in a recipe. Um, cremini that we had talked about in our health notes, it's a little bit more of like a wrinkly style mushroom, slightly different taste. Um, these here are just larger white mushrooms. These are baby bellas or baby portobellas. And then of course the famous portobello mushroom that some people when they're trying to lower their meat consumption, they will substitute this for like a beef patty in a burger. And of course we can flip this over, take the stem out, we can stuff it and do all kinds of great things. And with a lot of the recipes for stuffed mushrooms, you just simply remove the stem and then you're able to stuff it. Um, you can eat the stem. If you do, a lot of people um, prefer to chop the end off and make it a nice clean cut. But one of the greatest tools to be able to slice your mushrooms quickly, if I can find it in my drawer here, is actually what we call an egg slicer. 
and it has the wire tines in here. And if you need a whole bunch of sliced mushrooms for recipe, ta-da! You just run it right through and you have all these perfectly even slices of mushroom. That is so satisfying. Isn't it like almost ASMR? Yeah, ASMR. Yeah, and this is also the test. If your mushroom's not very fresh, it will not go through there nice and easy. Now there are other types of mushrooms that are incredibly artistic, like chanterelles, um, trumpets, lion mane, there's some that are pink, um, all kinds of different ones. You have to really go into specialty stores or at certain times of the year to find those mushrooms, but they're delicious and they all tend to have their own unique flavor. And of course, um, you know what I'm mistaken? These are not paninis, you guys. Shiitakes. These are shiitake mushrooms, not creminis, because they did not have creminis in the store today. So even the teacher can make mistakes. <laughs> How's that for, for a lesson today on mushrooms? But um, I want you to make sure that you enjoy the mushrooms. Give them a try. Um, some mushrooms are very plain in flavor, and uh, they will take on whatever you add to the recipe. So what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna make a classic recipe called chicken marsala, which is known for a mushroom and marsala wine sauce. And so we're gonna take a little pause and then we'll come back and we're gonna prepare over at the stove to make our chicken marsala. Okay, so we're ready to start putting together chicken marsala. So I've prepped our ingredients and I have our mushroom sliced, we've got our garlic, our shallots, our salt and pepper, and of course we have some parsley. Quick tip on parsley when you need to mince it, rip the stems or the leaves off the stem. Take some kitchen scissors and mince right in the bowl and then it's easy work. But I have my, um, my thinly cut boneless skinless chicken breast and they're salt and peppered on both sides. We're just gonna dredge it in flour and then we'll move over to the stove. All right, you guys, chicken marsala is all finished. We're gonna serve this tonight over a little plate of spaghetti. And don't forget, you always wanna garnish with a little bit of parsley just to bring all that color out and make it delicious. Um, but that's it, super easy, a great quick dinner recipe for a weeknight. And so I hope you enjoyed learning about mushrooms and a great recipe to use them in. Uh, that's it for today. Make sure that you follow and subscribe and share our YouTube channel for Home Ec Express. Go to our website at www.homeecexpress.com and follow us on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Till next time. Hey, fun. Um.